Hello, this is Danny Murphy. We are back with the football. We're commentating on uh, Brain Case United today. Um, as I've already said, I'm Danny Murphy, and uh, this is Brain Case Rob. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Danny. Uh, I'm going to keep your parts to a minimum, I think. Because you've started off, we like to start with a little bit of funty bland energy, a little bit of caffeinated energy, uh, and you were lacking that sorely. Uh, what do you think? I, I, I'll chat to you a little bit, okay? But you have started off on a pretty weak note. We're paying you quite a lot of money, um, quite a lot of money to commentate on this stuff, and uh, you need to be bringing it. You need to bring your A game. If you're not bringing your A game, uh, why are we paying you? Um, I mean, I'm sorry, you know, I just, uh, uh, you know, this is my uh, inimitable style. It's to just kind of drone on like, like this. Um, but, you know, you've, you've picked me for the right statistics, you know. If you want some commentary on statistics, you come to Danny Murphy. And what we need is we need more boys in the box. Need more boys in the box, making those chances, getting those balls in the goal. That's what we need. And I, sorry, I was pausing there because I thought maybe you'd you'd take it up, but you didn't. So I guess I'll just just continue on. Continue on talking about the team. I guess is that what you want me to do? Um, You've got Lucian Bonnet. Lucian Bonnet's a great player. Uh, you've got uh, Dean Nicole, of course. And I know he's your favourite, Rob Holkenberg. He's a, he's, he's a great little winger. You know, he runs down the inside. He makes those chances. Um, he's a, he is he's a great player. What can I say? Well, you know what? We, Hulkenberg always gets a game. BC United, Hulkenberg always gets a game. Excuse me while I have a little sip of the Funty Blen. You sure you don't want any, Danny? No, I'm okay. I don't. I don't really do. I don't do caffeinated beverages, to be honest. Uh, just water for me. Just I generally, I just want a nice glass of water and watch the football. Sit down with a nice glass of water, watch the football. That's me finished for the evening. I just pass out after that. And, uh, you know, that's that's how I get my kicks. Okay, well, thanks. Thanks for that, Danny. We are going to... This lad, what do you, do you rate this lad? N not not really, no. He's, uh, he's... I don't know who he is, to be honest. So, therefore, I did not rate him. Okay, so you don't know that guy, Danny Elves, uh, I believe that's how it's, it's pronounced. He's won. He's won something, which is more than we're doing at the moment. And what, what would you say, Danny, about the team, how we're doing so far? As you can see, we're third in the league, 32 points. Got, got any comments about that at all, Danny? No, not, not, not really. Um, I don't know. I don't have any opinion on that. Um, you know, third is better than being fourth uh, or fifth or even sixth or seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Uh, you don't want to be in those positions, ideally. You want to be either third or maybe even above. Uh, that might be ideal, if, you know. If you want to, the top spot is ideal in football. You want to be the best in football. That's not elitist as well. I just want to say that's not elitist. That's just the game of football. That's how you win at the game of football. Well, thank you very much, Danny. That is great to hear. Um, I'm just checking the, the team there. And you're confident this is a good team to be putting forward. Is that, cor is that correct, Danny? Yeah, I think it's a, it's a, it's a great team. I'm not, I've, already, you know, I've said my piece on that already. Uh, that's a great decision what you just made there, but in that lad in whose name I'm not going to pronounce because um, I can't. Um, he's good that player. I like him. Put Eutz on. Yeah, that's it. Eutz. You know he's going to be. Uh, he's played. He's played great in previous games. Um, you got Blad up up front. You can't beat that. 
Well, thank you. Uh, thank you very much for that, Danny. Um, I'm not going to stop just thanking you, I think, in the future for talking. Uh, I'm paying you to talk. Um, it's just what commentators do, of course. Just going to have a little bit more of Funty Blend. It's delicious, it's delicious. You can get those beans from braincase.com featuring Danny Murphy. The legend, the one and only Danny Murphy. Well, you're very kind, uh, very, very, very kind, in, in fact, Rob. Uh, and thank you for paying me to be here. Because you're not paying the, the team, are you? No, we're not, we're not, Danny. We are not paying these lads at all. We're not a penny, even Hulkenberg, who's good. Um, no money. What a lovely day it is. I just have to say, what a bloody lovely day. There's a crap bit of football, but it can be forgiven because it's it's just bloody lovely. It's just a really nice day. The weather's lovely. Um, and when the weather's lovely, we play reasonably good football. Oh, he's trying to find Eots there. He tried his best. He was trying to get in there, but... It wasn't to be, unfortunately. Uh, you know, maybe the next pass is going to be more appropriate. Maybe it's going to, maybe it's going to find him, and he's he's going to kick the ball into the goal. That's ideal, really. You want in football, you want the ball in the goal. If you're not getting the ball in the goal, uh, questions need to be asked. Namely, why is it not going in? What can we do? What can we do to to make the ball go in the goal? May, in, may entail, entail sort of buying new players. It might involve maybe buying some sort of android who can uh, kick the ball in the goal better than a human being. I don't think that's possible in uh, the game of football, actually, Danny. That's uh, legal. I'm surprised you didn't know that. Being a football player... Oh, my God, that was a shit bit of play there. It was. It was, uh, you know, in my day, you'd get your legs broke for that. Less, in fact. Just to, you know... Oh, it's here. He's in his area. Ballada there. That was a great bit of play. My word. When the play smacks like that, sensation happens. Don't know, don't know what that means, mate. Don't know what that... Is, is, that, that, is that a thing people say? Sensation happens? No, it's not. It's just... It's literally just what came to mind at the time. Sometimes that happens, Danny. You'll know when you've been in the punditry job as long as me um, that you do just say random shit in, in such a way that people might believe that's what people in football say. Oh, We are pi piling on the pressure. Piling on such pressure for these lads. Lotion bonnet there. Look at that nice tasty little bit of skill there. That's ideal that is. You want a bit of tasty skill. Um, I think what's going on here is the passing's a bit shit. That's generally what needs to be... Uh... Well, that could have been a, that could have been a danger. Uh, you know, putting a ball in like that could have been dangerous but you know it's taken care of nobody was there fortunately Van Vile don't know how to pronounce that lad's name so we, we, we hope he doesn't get the ball too much or score it's pretty embarrassing when I can't pronounce a player's name and he's scored It's great to see Lucian Bonnet making those sort of tackles as well, I think. Oh, it's Ballada. No, it's offside. It seemed like he was just a bad on, but... No. I notice there's not anybody uh, watching the stream currently, which is uh, disheartening because uh, I'm used to being on the BBC. Um, and he did say that there were going to be uh, a lot of viewers uh, watching. He said, this Twitch stuff, yeah. 
you know, it's better than uh, BBC, and so far that's not proved true, has it? Well, no, it, it's it's not currently. Uh, this is Scottish football. You have to remember, this is Scottish football. But nobody watching is good in terms of uh, Scottish ratings. Uh, you need to bear that in mind. That's a 100% increase um, if you take into account that this is Scottish football as opposed to... Uh, Maybe, do the BBC cover Scottish football? I wouldn't know. I wouldn't, wouldn't know. Uh, I don't think so. Don't think they do. I mean, I, mean, I, I you know, it's I just, uh, you know, they're there. That's what they do. You know, Rangers, Rangers have lost. Something like that, you know. It's not, they're not commentating on the games or anything like that. I have to say, I, I, I'm going to echo your, your thoughts, Rob, about the weather. It's uh, lovely weather. It's the sort of weather that you go, oh, I wish I wasn't watching football, you know. I just wish I was at the beach or something, maybe building a sandcastle with the kids. And do you have kids, uh, Danny? You've got, you, 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 you've got kids then. I don't actually know. I just, uh, you know, I might just go and... Uh, you know, build a sandcastle. Kids arrive, you know. That's what happens. They, they arrive because they see the, the sandcastle. They're impressed. Uh, it's not in a creepy way, mind, you know. It's just literally what happens. Well, that's not a good start to the game at all. We want to be scoring goals. Nice kick off. This lad, it's still this lad, is looking for Hulkenberg. Oh, but oh, that was a poorly timed uh, pass there. Looking for somebody on the on the out there. Shinner. That was a waste of chance. Uh, it wasn't really the best end, to be honest, but I will because I'm being paid to speak. Uh, and I'm being paid to speak by the word as well. And my wife desperately wants a new kitchen. Desperate for a new kitchen, so... Uh, I'll just put that out there. Well, thank you, Danny. I mean, your commentary has generally been useless, but... Um, I do appreciate that you are speaking. It gives me a little bit more time to focus on the game. I need to be in the game because you know I'm CEO. I'm all sorts. I've got all sorts of hats when I'm uh, when I'm doing these games. You know, I'm just thinking about the the football as the the head honcho of Brain Case. Uh, I am. I'm wearing multiple hats. Little cheeky ball. Ideally, you want a cheeky ball. You want the cheeky ball passed in in such a way that it creates chances. You want the cheeky chancer. It's a game of football that I used to play. A uh, little cheeky chancer, we'd, we'd say. And that meant a cheeky ball passed to perfection in such a way that. I mean, I've already said that. Um, I'm really just running out the clock on things to say now. And he may be just give it a rest for a bit and let me take over because I comment on the football as it's happening. It's Ballada. It's Eots. Hulkenberg. He's in his area. He's looking. He, he's looking for somebody. He's doing a bit of cheeky. Sc oh my God, Hulkenberg! Fuck yes. Lucian Bonnet. It's a Yurtz. It's a Yurtz. This lad. Fuck yes. Ballada. Oh my god. Oh my god. A Yurtz. You've become ver very animated there, Rob. I just noticed. Uh, very, you know, you're just you're waving hands about. 
That's because, Danny, I'm excited about the football. I wish you would be able to get a little bit excited about great football like that. Um, maybe. Oh, here we go. It's Hulkenberg. Ballada. Oh, my God. What are you doing to me, Ballada? This is shitty football. I mean, it's not shitty football. You know, that was that was some... They just didn't go in. But then again, not to be too existential about this, but if it's not going in, maybe it's shitty football. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Is that like, It's like a, just a kind of reflection I had there. I was just like, maybe... It only matters if you score, I don't know. What would you say? Maybe shitty football ultimately has no effect. Do you know what I mean? Because if it goes in, it's not shitty football. I think you're going to have to give it a bit of a rest now, Danny. You're uh, getting too... You've confused yourself with thoughts. Um, that's not what you're paid to say. You're paid to say cliches and that was not a cliche that was a goal that was a goal the baller he's call me he's saying call me we can negotiate a better contract with a better team but he's not leaving because he he's with us he's signed in blood on the dotted line he's not going anywhere is he? he's he's, he's literally chained to the the desk he's He's chained up in the tower bus. As soon as they finish this game, he's in there. They're locking him up. That is true, Danny. That is true. He's not going anywhere, this lad. Regardless of if other teams want him. That's not how football works. I'm interested to know, really, about this European uh, Super League and how, uh, how BC United fit in with that. Well, Danny, uh, I was saying on the stream last night um, that we basically want in. We're desperate to get in on this big money madness. Um, but the phone is not rang, unfortunately. It's not rang. Um, even though we've got great sponsorships from such brands as Carfilm Warehouse and Bet360. Eots, they're just uh, dancing about in the area got very animated when I said that 360 um, I get pumped up about brands that's one I'm really excited about at the moment actually um, to get any sort of like discount we do, you do not get discount no Danny you do not get discount at bet 360 simply because we're paying you to say things on this stream there's a corner kick now yeah, I can see that's a corner kick, Danny, if you could just let me do the commentary for a little bit. Oh, my God. He is hitting the ground like a gorilla. Look at him. He's furious. Got serious uh, anger management issues. Uh, I mean, that is partly because we do inject these players with rage hormones uh, before the game, so they play better. But then we'll, we'll take that. That's a win. We need a win. We need all the wins we can get, basically. They're still holding German signs up in the stadium, which confuses me because I've asked them not to. I said, please, please, I was going to say please only in Scottish. Mate, you can you can do it in Scottish. You can do it in English. Just I can't read them. I don't know what you're holding up. The dandy dons. That's apparently <laughs> that's apparently what they're called. Have you ever heard of that, Danny? I've not. No, I've never never heard of the dandy dons. Uh, it's a shit shit name, really, isn't it? It is. It's a it's a shit name. The dandy dons. Aberdeen. Michael Gove's favourite team, I believe, uh, Aberdeen. In fact, let's, I'm going to look it up. What's Michael Gove's favourite team? I suspect it's some English team. 
I'd be very surprised if he uh, is, cares for Scotland. His his face looks absolutely nuts, doesn't it? I just looked it up. If you could have a look, Danny, what does he support? He supports Queen's Park Rangers. I know he would. You know, he's just picked one with the fucking uh, Queen in it. I, I would appreciate if you didn't swear on the stream, actually, Danny, That if, if you could do that. If you could uh, may, maybe not swear. I just noticed you, you swearing all the way through, though, so it's a bit confusing. That is true, I, I, but I swear out of um, passion for the club. Uh, I feel like you're just throwing it in to be edgy or something, which I don't appreciate. And what about this uh, goalkeeper? I want to sort of know what's going on with that, because you keep slagging the goalkeeper off. You're saying Trusadi is, uh, is a shit, and uh, you, you said he was going to break his legs if he, didn't, if he let in any more goals, so I just want to know what's going on there, basically. Uh, basically, we don't know. Okay, we don't know. I think we've we've got a goalkeeper coming. He's just not arrived. Um, let's have a little look down here. Why don't, we're not putting this legend on? I don't understand why Zaradonna uh, is a brilliant player. Don't know why he's. We literally we've got a shit selection of keepers. We definitely have some coming though. Success. There we go. We're just waiting a very long time for a new goalkeeper. So you ready to go to the next game? Yep, we are. We're ready to go for the next game, Danny. Um, we refuse transfer offer to remain. Uh, that's not good. I want to remain manager. Of what is a great club? It's it's my club. Why the hell would I be being booted out of this position? Uh, very confusing. You don't fancy your chances at Saltit, maybe. You know, if the, if that's on the table, yeah, I might, I might upgrade. Uh, to sell, even though it's a great brand, Braincase is a great brand, but depending on the money, you know, maybe I would, maybe I would, doesn't seem a little bit, uh, of a better move, because you're not a very good club, are you, you're not, you're only third in the league, you could be higher than that, you could be number one, or you could be two, I think Celtic are, uh, you know what, you know what, screw this. I am a BC man through and through. And it's not simply because it's brain case. It's because we are sponsored by great companies like Husky Chocolate, Bet365. I, I think I was saying Bet360. I'm really sorry. Guys, I'm so... Please don't break my legs. I know investors are angry, but please don't break my legs. And of course, Virgin Media, which I think is one of the best companies ever, basically. A great brand. So you know what? I refuse. I don't know what that means, but yeah, sure, why not? Let's go ahead, see what happens. We finally, is this the... It is, it's the goalkeeper, isn't it? We're getting a new goalkeeper. Well, Frankly, Danny, he's not your goalkeeper. He's he's belongs to Braincase. My God, he's a gormless freak. That is, oh my God, what have we done? Is he doesn't he doesn't seem he's he's got like a line across his head like he's been at a lobotomy. What's going on? This is, what's going on? He doesn't seem all there. This is false advertising. We thought we were getting some sort of savvy, cool keeper who was going to take over from Trusadi. And we got a guy who is not on the level. He looks like he has collided with the post many a time. So sad to see. Look, nice little uh, laptop Giggs has there. Anyway, it's great to get a new keeper. 
uh, even if he is, even if he has had a lobotomy. Let's face it. Let's see if there's any new talent coming up. Um, descend, whatever. Descending order. Um, now we need the good. We need the good lads. These are not good lads. I know personal development. We have very much a Tory strategy here, which is short-term gain, uh, no consideration for long-term investment. Uh, and that works well for us. That works perfectly for us. So there is going to be no considering youth players. We're just going to buy the best ones at the current time. Um, I think we'll have one. We'll, how many games have we had? We have we had two games now. I think we might have just had one. I, I honestly can't remember how long has it been going for. It's been twenty six minutes. That seems like uh, I feel like we've only just had one game. We've just done a lot of talking. I think you might be right, Danny. I think we've only had one game. It's pretty strange that neither of us can remember. I think we were just pumped up, basically, weren't we? We got two keepers. So we don't have to pick the lobotomy keeper, which is great. Yeah, get him out. He's a freak. In fact, let's go back so we never make the mistake of including one of those crap keepers in the lineup. Uh, a second, okay. So that lad gets the game. Um, go for him. Great players like Pifa. Eats classic. Um, who else is good? That lad. Get on the pitch. Or should I say on the subs bench. V Biggs. Great player. Um, I think that'll do. That'll do. It must be a real relief to you have a proper keeper. And I, I think you picked the one who's had the lobotomy as well. You're confident. You're going for that. You know what? I think I am. I think we're going to have take a chance on the lobotomy keeper, even though he does appear to have some some sort of brain defect, um, possibly from colliding with the post. And Browning's is a great brand. Browning's the baker. It's a great Scottish bakery. It's going to get confusing, so we're going to we're going to change their kit. I think to the white away kit. Um, Brownings uh, resembles the uh, Clark's Pie logo of the uh, Cardiff and Bristol bakery. Um, maybe all bakeries have a very similar branding. Maybe that's a mistake. Maybe Brownings need to get on the phone to break case. We'll do you a new bloody hell. Is this where they play? So it's like an enormous ground for, for a club of this standard. You know, it's a bigger than the arena by Rob, by quite considerably. I'm a bit confused uh, how that's happened. Uh, a little bit jealous, I'll be honest. It is a, it's a absolutely huge ground. Doing a little dance there with his the bottom of his head. Alan Power and G Dicker. Uh, these are a good, good bunch of lads. But you know what? Good ain't going to cut it in this league. The the cream of the crop is the Scottish Premiership. You can't get better Scottish football than this league. Um, Oh no, 
Shit football. We talked before about the... Uh, so something you ever done, Danny? Played with a, a football made of shit. Just a big ball of shit. That's what we played, like, in the in the first few rounds, basically. I have, yeah. You know, that used to be... Before leather balls came in, they, that was standard, you know. When I was growing up in Chester, uh, you know, we would regularly play with a massive ball of shit. And, you know, your, your mum, you know, you'd, you'd come home and... and uh, She'd be like, why are you covered in shit and go playing a game of football? That was standard, you know what I mean? I do, Danny. Uh, I do. You grew up playing with a big ball of shit. That was brilliant. Well kept on the pitch there. It's Vile. Balada, he's looking for Shinner. He's found Shinner. Oh my. Tasty footwork. It's great footwork. It's Bayes. Shinner. He's found Lucian Bonnet there. And when Lucian Bonnet gets the ball, you know magic's going to happen. And I, I appreciate, as I said, that that's not magic. You know, that's just, he's just got fouled, but... Does Rayleigh, Dean Nicole, he's found Shinner. He's found Shinner. Oh, Van Vile. I think we need a nice swerving kick into the box. It's found this lad. It's Lucian Bonnet. Nice little tactical ball, getting another corner kick. Hopefully he can do uh, better than this one. He's got a second chance, which is more than my wife's given me. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah that was great football. And I appreciate I became more animated than I usually do, you know. I'm not usually, usually speaking, sort of a dull monotone, I suppose. And, you know, for that moment, I just, I just felt it, you know what I mean? Quite unusual for me. It is, Danny. We didn't hire you for a lot of emotion, but it's nice to see you occasionally going outside your comfort zone to... To, to say something like that. Well, I appreciate that you're saying that. You know, uh, at the end of the day, you just want more boys in the box. You want more boys in the box scoring goals. I mean, that's literally the cliches are, are, are what you're good at. You are good at cliches and understatement. Uh, that's why we got you, Danny. Uh, and how confident are you that we can take this game? I mean, it seems like you're the better team. Um, definitely BC United. Uh, you know, they're making those... Uh, they're playing some good football, really. But uh, you never know, I suppose. Could go either either way, is what you're saying there. Yeah, you know, you, you never know, I suppose. You, you, like when you play football, you come on the pitch, you don't know who's going to win. That's a credibly uh, mundane thing to say, Danny. Um, incredibly obvious thing to say. It's a little bit like your earlier reflection on bad football. I thought that was quite deep, though, you, you know. like, You know, it's the sort of thing that... I don't know, just like, to me that just like blew my, my mind. I was just like, I never thought about it that way before. It's not deep, Danny. It's that it's, you're very, very shallow. You have a brain the size of a pea. Uh, and I think that's why you think things that are not deep are deep. 
Come on, Van Vile. Ballada. Oh. It's in. And it's about time. Because that was a great bit of football. The whole first... Well, let's say the last 10 minutes have been enthralling football. Really good stuff. And I'm on the back of the shirt there. They need to be kissing that shirt. I want to see a human centipede of kissing Rob. Lads on the floor just giving him a big old smoocheroo of respect. I mean, uh, that seems like the... You know, that seems like a respectful thing to do. Human centipede of kissing. Why not, eh? That could be actually, I think that's going to be the title of the video, isn't it? Well, Danny, I think I'll do the co I'll do the content, okay? You do the punditry, I do the content. Negotiating, great content. Leave it up to me, okay? I don't want any suggestions from you on what I should be doing content-wise. I didn't mean it, you know, I just meant it's just, that would be good. Tell you what, that was, uh, that was good there, I like that. Hulkenberg. They really do seem like the better club. Um, I really hope we can, we can take all the way with these lads because... I'm confident, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm confident. I'm feeling good about this. We can get another, I'm sure we can. Please don't blow this, lads. It's Bonnet, Lucian Bonnet. Corner kick is nothing to be ashamed of. Oh, Hulkenberg. Lovely uh, little uh, header on from the Hulkenberg there. You know, it was a bit a bit wider the mark, uh, you know, over the bar. But you can see the dedication on the lad's face. You know, he's willing to take it to the next level. And uh, for that, he should be saluted. I'm saluting him right now. I'm stood here. I'm stood here just giving a little salute. We should say as well, Danny, that you do your punditry n nude. That's one of the, the things. It's just what you do, isn't it, Danny? You, you do the commentary nude. Yeah, I just, you know, I like the, to feel the breeze on my skin as I come up with the, uh, the cliches. Um, it helps me come up with the cliches if I, if I can feel a nice breeze. Um... It's one of the conditions. It's one of the reasons the BBC were comfortable uh, signing me off. I think they were just—they'd had enough of my uh, naked, smooth body um, sitting on their new uh, new seats, new leather seats, which is what we do uh, the commentary on. Wasted chance that. We can see that's a waste of chance. Uh, I don't know. There's needs to be said uh, exactly. I think. I think we could. But we could all see that that was crap football. Pretty sure the keeper was out of his uh, his area when he kicked that there. Is that allowed in football now? I don't know. I've not, not played for some time. Oh. Could have been nice, that. This lad. It's the big boot up pitch to Hulkenberg. Are you going to make any uh, subs? Notice you've not made any subs in uh, the previous game. That's because I don't have to make subs, Danny, if we're winning. 
okay we only make subs if you're losing or a player is injured that's literally the only reason you would ever make a sub idiot but you played football I did I just I just never listened that was it I never listened to the rules of football uh, they just used to sit me on and say go and I would you know they'd have to physically stop me at the end they'd say Danny it's, a it's over come home Danny come home he's looking for a man he's looking for Ballada Ville Bayes Oh it's beautiful by Bayes No it's a it's a foul apparently Not to my mind Not to my mind but to other people's I notice there's there's still nobody watching the stream It's quite quite uh unusual I think is it not no, you said about it being Scottish football and all, but I thought maybe like somebody would watch. I don't understand what the the point is. Otherwise, it's it's for our own amusement. It's for the investors' amusement. Okay, it's for it makes them money. Then it's worth doing. Okay. Oh, here we go. Tasty footwork. You know he's a great lad and. You could see he was confident. You knew that was going in even before he kicked it. You could just tell. These lads... Who have been blighted with a reputation for... Hedonistic orgies. Finally vindicated. Vindicated. He looks a little bit sullen, doesn't he? Look at that. Needs to slap that lad. Acting like that, you know. He's not. It's not. Have some respect, you know. Nicole, oh, T Nicole. Oh, yes. He's done it. He's kicked it in the goal. He set out what he, he aimed to do. Goal. He went, I'm going to score. And he did. He scored it. He kicked it with his foot. It was his right foot. Let's have a look now. Yeah, he kicks it with his right foot. Little chip up, chips up with with, with one of the, with the left foot, I think. Look at that, and in the in the net as well. You know, he could have kicked it anywhere, but he kicked it in the net, and he's treated himself with a nice little slide on the knees, which could be fun. Can be fun to do that, but also I would not do that on, for instance, a sub surface like tarmac. He does. Uh, I've tried it myself before. Don't do it on tarmac. It's great advice from Danny there. Uh, 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 only if you're a professional football player would I attempt, should you attempt um, such a manoeuvre. So you're making a sub even though you're winning. I I am, yeah. I'll be honest, I am. Ballard is coming off. Eertz is coming on. We need Pifa. Um, add this lad, Harrington, who I hate. He can come on. Why do you hate Harrington? I hate Harrington because I played him a few times and he 
runs out of energy almost immediately uh, and has been a bit crap. It's nothing personal. Uh, we get on well. We had some wanky cocktails last night, in fact. Um, but I don't want him messing things up, basically. There he is there. Yeah, I can see that, Danny. Um, I'll do the... Uh, I'll, do, I'll do that side of the commentary. don't have to say... You're literally here just to make comments like at the end of the day, that was good football. Okay, that's, that's your job. Bays. I literally just... What did I literally just say, Danny? I take care of that side. It's Shinna. Are you are you taking the piss, Danny? I do that bit. Of, I do that side of things. It's a free kick. Yeah, we can see that, Danny. We can see that it's a free kick. Of course, we can see that. And it's over three nil. My word, we are creeping up the league. I think. Although, let's face it, Celtic and Rangers are probably also doing extremely well. So, probably doesn't make any difference. But imagine if it did. Imagine if this meant more money for me. More money for BC Rob. More money for the club. Yeah, that's what I thought. We're still... I don't know. We're not doing too badly, though, are we? We're not doing too badly. The trouble is we've lost four games, which is not good. Um, and it's unlikely that Celtic are going to lose three games to balance things out. Nevertheless, uh, we are in a, in, a, in a reasonably good position. I don't think we're going to be winning the league, though. Well, don't forget the Scottish Cup as well. I don't know what that is. I, I, I presume that's sort of like the FA Cup, but Scotland. Um, you should know, mate. You're, you know, you you, you're in Scottish football now. You, you should know what you're going to be playing in. Uh, that's that's true. But shut up, okay? Shut up, Danny. Um, I've I've said before a few times that you're just here to say, at the end of the day, go and say it. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, we need to win at football. Something like that, okay? At the end of the day, we just need to win the game. Perfect, Danny. That's perfect. That's what I want from you. I don't want any of this other crap, okay? You're going to buy some new players then? I, I probably am, yeah. We need investment in this club. Majorly, we need investment in this club. Okay, so we're in. We're going to play against Hibernian, who I think we might have drew against last night. Um, I think this will be the final game of the stream because. I'm getting tired. I want to go to bed. I've been up all night drinking wanky cocktails, having Funty Blend espresso. I'm tired. I've got the twitches. Squad rotate. Don't know what that means. Um, forward in time to the next match, please. Yep, yeah, we're going to play the hips. What were that uh, Aberdeen called again? The, the Dandy Dons. I believe they were, yeah. It's crap, isn't it? Dandy Dons. I agree that is a crap name. Um, it does make me wonder what Brain Case United's nickname are. The Innovators. We the, the Innovators, that's what they call us. Look, Jay Murphy, that's like my name. Uh, uh, good Irish name. Yeah, but it's it's, it's Jay Murphy. It's not 
Danny Murphy. It's a common name. It's, in fact, I think the most common Irish name. I wonder if I'm related, though. Do you think I could be? I d very much doubt it. It's like in Ireland, it's like being called Smith. Okay, it's it's very very common name. Could be though. Could be you know. It could be like my brother or something. I, Danny, I, I very much doubt he's your brother. Are you kidding me? You would you would know if you'd grown up with this person as your brother. I don't know. I'm just saying though. You know what I mean. I know you're just saying, Danny, but the trouble is you don't think before you say. I know that's true. That's what uh, they said at BBC as well. You just say things. Sandy, Sandy Jardine. It's like, what's his name from the Beat Boys? Al Jardine. Do you think he's related? No, I very much doubt he's related to the bloody guy from the Beach Boys. Okay. I like the Beach Boys. I'm sure you do, Danny. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you love the bloody Beach Boys. Don't doubt that for a second. What's that relevant? Why is that relevant to what we're talking about here? Okay, we we, we want to talk about the football. Making some uh, good start there. Come on, that's a lot of rubbish. That completely agree, Danny. You've said some some sense for for the first time in this stream. That was ludicrous. What the hell is going on? Could have been a bloody penalty. Ballada. It's Bayes. Oh my God. This referee is, is crooked. This referee actually needs his legs broke. Um, and that's not a threat. I mean, metaphorically speaking, he needs... Sorry, just hit... I hit the mic because I... I'm livid. I'm livid with this this referee. Uh, as we know, if investors are angry, they're going to break my legs. And it really doesn't help when the referee is making decisions like this. Just notice you drop back into a more defensive position there. Yeah, of course we... Well, we, we basically, they've come out for guns guns blazing and we need to do something about it, Danny. Not me though, I'm not I'm not even you know, I just I just do the punditry. Not you personally, I mean we as a club, like something that people say in football, isn't it? Come on, Danny. Use your damn brain. You know, you could be a bit nicer to me. You know, I, I at the end of the day. So you, you go in there with the cliches, Danny. That's what we want from you. We don't want any of this additional stuff. We're not paying you to say stupid. Well, we are, I guess. I suppose we are doing that. But it, we want the cliches and nothing else, okay? Maybe I just won't speak. Maybe, maybe that's preferable, in fact, Danny. Maybe you should shut up. Do you want to go like for for a pint maybe after this? I said I'd been up all night, okay, Danny. That's why I'm losing my mind, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sure under other circumstances I would not be so hostile. Look at that Rangers hospitality. That's just a fist. This is a fist to the face. Some good old-fashioned Rangers hospitality.
I'm a bit confused why and I, I you know I don't, don't want to speak out of turn here because he had a go at me but why is it all branded in Rangers stuff I don't understand honestly don't know honestly don't know this we're supposed to be in, in Edinburgh presumably or maybe I don't know I, I wasn't paying attention I'm sorry Danny you have to apologise to me mate what's going on don't know I'm losing my mind Danny I'm going to break my legs I'm going to break my legs and I'm I'll be fucked. I need to win. I've put everything into this club. And it's all to shit. You know, I don't have to... We've, we've won a few games, to be fair, but... We're still going to... I've promised the world. And I'm not going to be able to deliver, Danny. It's... I'm what? It's okay, mate. Don't worry about it. I can protect you. How the fuck are you going to protect me, Danny, when they come to break my legs? I don't know. I'll just say, leave him alone. I'd appreciate that. Ultimately, that's not helpful. Ballada. Oh, Ballada. That was great play by Ballada. Be the one. Do you think maybe nobody's watched? because it's just really I would have been watching I think so Danny no. you know what we need we need some sort of affiliation twitch affiliation whatever it's called twitch partner we all, that's what we want we need this moving forward we need royalties and Stuff like that. We need a fan base of credulous idiots uh, behind us. What ain't happening. Oh. It ain't happening. That's the uh, motto for Brain Case United. In this match, at least. Oh, that player is scum. He keeps making shit choices. Oh. Bays. The monster. We need uh, we need help, basically. I think that is ultimately we must be at the Rangers ground, I guess, because so much Rangers branding. It's, it's fucking strange. Like somehow getting into the danger zone. I love that song, Deja Zone. Kenny Loggins. Wedding. We had Danger Zone. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, when we were just coming down the aisle. Seems like a remarkably strange choice of song, Danny, um, for a wedding. That's what she said, yeah. She said, 
can we have something a bit more traditional? I said no. Danger zone. Kenny Loggins. It is. It's he's reached a danger zone. I him to the danger zone. Take me right into the danger zone. Is that too much enthusiasm for you? You know what? I appreciate the enthusiasm. Actually, I think that is you can do that, Danny. That's fine. If you, in fact, maybe you just want to commentate instead because. I am pretty sleepy. I've been, as I said, I've been up all night drinking wanky cocktails. I am at the end of my tether, basically. Ooh! Some good football. Oh my god, Ballada. Yes! Oh my god. I can't believe it. That is a phenomenal goal. Nice mulleted look on that player whose name I can never pronounce. Look at that, by Hulkenberg, lovely little touch. My word. We have had a stroke of luck. It was a lovely goal, you know, the, the play. Little cheeky, cheeky uh, touch. It's a cheeky ball. Reminds me, in fact, of the, the cheeky girl. Can you remember the cheeky girls? I do remember the cheeky girls, yeah, Danny. Um, they were f fucking great. All that cheeky, you know, touch my bum. Brilliant. But an odd taste in, in music, Danny. You like Kenny Loggins and the cheeky girls. Chico as well, remember him? Chico time. It's Chico time. Brilliant, that. Remember Darius? We're not here now, Danny, to discuss Nolte's music. But yeah, I do remember Darius. I used to like uh, the Scottish one, that, you know, Edinburgh guy from um, uh, Fame Academy, Ainsley. Bloody brilliant. Had like an indie thing going on. Amazing. Oh, penalty. You're going to go for it then? Hell yeah, I'm ready. It's another, another chance. No, that was shit. Why can they always get them? The opposition always score at free kicks. I have no idea. It's the most difficult thing I've ever done. Why can they do them? I don't know, maybe just practice. Maybe just can't be bothered to practice. I'll ignore that comment, Danny, because it's stupid. Oh! Oh, penalty! Hulkenberg. Oh! We are playing some classic football. Really is top-notch football today at this Rangers stadium. 
Selhurst Park. Is that it? I don't know what's going. I don't know what's going on. Don't know why we're at this stadium. Maybe a little uh, substitution, do you think? I think that probably would have been wise, but... A lot of fouls going on now, which is nice to see. Apologies for that, I pressed the wrong button, I went to press the sub button. Apologies if I just cut out for some reason there. I, I, I pushed the wrong button. Happens in football. Let's get fucking uh, P for on. You just swore then. Yeah, I, I can swear, okay? I can swear it's absolutely fine. Uh, it's just when you do it, it's out of character. I don't like it. Trying to set Eots up there for a cheeky uh, goal. And guess what? These lads are going to take him for cheeky Nando's. Uh, because they've played brilliantly today. Uh, oddly brilliantly, because we've had... A, we played some crap football, basically. Genuinely think they played amazingly. Really good football. Oof. So many fouls going on now. Send them off. There's uh, five minutes there. They can, they heard that, Danny. I have to say five minutes. He, they, he obviously just said that over the monitor. Tanoi. PA, I think, is actually the term. It's it. Tanoi is a brand. And, uh, what? Well, it's a great brand. Oh, no. Hey, Lucian. Oh, Lucian Bonnet. Oh no, they're fucked and we are through, it's a great day for Scottish football, it's a great, it's a great day for uh, Brain Case United, you really fucked that one up didn't you Danny, had one thing to say, completely fluffed your lines, David Gray, he was another one, remember David Gray? I do remember David Gray, yeah. It's great music, that. What was it called? What was the song called? The song was called um, Babylon, I believe. Is it Babylon? I think it was Babylon, yeah. David, let me just have a look. David Gray. Babylon. There we go, man. Yeah, Bab Babylon. Babylon is a song by British singer songwriter David Gray. Ninety nine, it's from White Ladder album. His fourth album. Did you know that? He had done four before that. I did not know that. No, I did not, and that's quite surprising because that was the first I heard of him. Yes, yeah, great. He's got uh, Craig McLoon on uh, on drums. Don't think you have to go through the whole whole of this album, Danny. Oh, just a few few facts, you know. It's not not connected to the football though, is it? I'm just saying it's it's twenty. It was twenty four in uh, in Europe. 
What does that even mean in Europe? Euro chart, 24. U UK single, 5. Singles chart, 5. Thought it would be higher, though. that was number 1. Okay, we're going to go now, Danny. I think that's the end of the stream. Thank you, Danny Murphy, for doing some punditry. It's an absolute pleasure, mate. You know, I didn't have anything to do. And, as a, you know, you paid me, so that's great. That means, you know, I can continue to live. I can live off that money. Uh, if, I, if I didn't receive money, I wouldn't be able to live. It's a great observation. And maybe one we should reflect on as we go we sign off now so thank you very much for tuning in nobody who listened to this stream take it easy bc rob signing out